actually matter where the gap in the skull is. All we have to do is wait for them to start closing in and instantly roll out, and it's as simple as that. that. But now it's time for us to talk about the second attack. If we were playing as Cuphead or Mugman, this attack would be really easy to dodge, but we're obviously not, so it's the bane of my existence. During this attack, he spawns a row of nine card suits, and on expert mode, there's one heart that spawns in the row, and, and that, that heart, heart is parryable. After a while, he then sends this row of card suits either up or down at the player, and it's our job to parry the heart in the row to leave a gap for us to fit through. So you might be thinking to yourself, wait, why, why is this hard? You can just jump, jump and parry the hole and go right through, right? But then you remember that this Chalice has a dash parry. And you have to horizontally mm. parry one specific thing in the row of nine. That is vertically moving towards you. And then you remember that he has ten mm. times eight, and he does this one attack like a hundred times. different times in the boss fight. If the row is moving down towards the player, it can luckily be dodged by a well timed Miss Chalice and its ability hits. row. But if the row is moving up with the, the player, uh, you might as well just give, give up. up. And that's pretty much all I can say for the boss fight. I, yeah, I just hate it. If you want to know one more thing that sucks about it, remember when I said Mr. Weezy was tied for the most HP of any, of any ground mini boss? Yeah, he's the other guy. That's right, he has 8,500 HP. I don't want to be doing this anymore. Go on to the next one. And guess what? Our next mini boss does not get any better because it's another arch nemesis of ours in this challenge. That's right, it's of course a plain boss. For those of you who haven't seen this series yet, the reason why plain bosses are so bad is because we can no longer use our super art. Basically, during almost every single fight in this series, I've been using Miss Chalice's super art too. Miss Chalice's Super Art 2 is known as Shield Power. This Super Art summons a floating shield which takes an extra hit for us. Sadly, the shield can't stack, but I can try my best to always have one hit. With me. So I can theoretically never take a hit of damage. And that sounds great, doesn't it? But the problem is, when we enter a flame level, regardless of what Super Art we have equipped, we will always have the Nuke Super. Which means now we don't have a shield to protect us from any extra damage, meaning every single hit is permanent. Mm. And keep in mind, this is only the six mini boss. We only got a lot more to go. So yes, this is a plain mm. boss, meaning it's automatically mm. pretty difficult. But then I remembered that I'm really good at this game. game. It's, it's not, not that, that bad. bad. Oh, I smell some dinner. Oh my God. So there's two things we have to worry about in this boss fight. fight. The first one is the small tiny ghost running, running skeleton horses. horses. One thing that's completely irrelevant, but I just found out, um, these, these ghosts, ghosts have legs. legs. Look at this tiny it, camera, it looks it like is, it's peeing or something. Like, look at this. Have, they can be seen I mean, look at that, it looks like it's peeing or something, bro, that's so weird, bro. Once they are, they're gonna shoot off the horse in an attempt to assassinate yeah. us. So to avoid them, we just want to make sure we're moving around as much as possible, as well as paying as much attention as we can to the bottom of the screen. Green. The second thing we have to worry oh about is... Oh my god, some mold, but I mean... Every once in a while, the thing we have to worry about is what I like to call... Okay, surprise! surprise. The second thing we have to worry about is what I like to call... Miss Crate. Surprise. Green. The second thing we have to worry about is what I like to call ribcage rib surprise. Every once in a while, the horse will shoot out a blue present from his ribcage, rib and after enough time has passed, this present will blow up into eight different horseshoes. With one of the horseshoes being terrible. As you can see, this attack is pretty simple to dodge. We just need to make sure we have a large enough gap between us and the present, so that when it blows up, we don't eat any horseshoes. For anybody who cares, this mini boss's name is Fairly. and for a plain boss, it's not overly painful. Okay, I turned you know, it down. Apart from the fact that he is, you know, twelve thousand HP. HP. But finally, after blowing up this skeleton horse with a nuke sixteen times, we can finally move on from this boss fight and go to our seventh mini boss. Finally, we get a break from the stupid difficulty of this challenge because we get to face Pearl Weta. If I was playing as Cuphead or Mugman, this mini boss would be pretty difficult. But then again, I'm not, so I'm just gonna cheese it. You know that fancy old move I told you about? The one that only Miss Chalice can do, invincibility rolling? Remember how I completely broke the Chips Bedigan boss fight? We're gonna do the same thing here. Hero Weta's first attack involves just going back and forth between the left and right side of the screen. 
And what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to parry these poker chips to turn them into platforms so we can jump over her. But I have an invincibility roll, and I'm just going to roll through her legs, and that's basically the entire boss fight. The second attack she has yeah, is where she rains down a ton of only balls, and our two job ways. is to fit through a gap so we can avoid taking damage. But again, we can just use our invincibility roll to make our own gap and waiting, fit through waiting. wherever we want. Psych! So after an absurd amount of invincibility rolls, we finally managed to take out Hirowetta's 8,000 health, and we're on to, without a doubt, the easiest mini-boss in this entire game. I'm, of course, talking about the men himself, so, Mega Seed. In this challenge, Mega Seed only has 7,500 HP. HP, and to make this even better, he only has one attack. attack. For this attack, he summons a devastating the ball, ball of, of destruction. destruction, and mm. it just slowly mm. moves mm. towards the player. Much like a lot of the other attacks, this ball is just programmed to go towards the player. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead, man. So once I'm he dead. shoots it, you can I'm just dead, step up to the left I'm or right, dead, and I'm you dead. dodge it. Other than this, I mean, I guess the summons is the biggest, but it just unfolds the failure shots that jump. So that's the boss fight. It's literally that simple. We just sit directly underneath Mega Steam and use our spread shot until it dies. Here, just to end this off, I'll give you a fun fact. Uh, that was supposed to be a piece of bread. Mm, that's cool. Whatever, that doesn't matter. Mm. We are now on to pile nine. Meaning all we have to do is mm, this mini boss and dice. And we have officially beaten the entire boss fight. So without further ado, let's get into our ninth fight against Mr. Mr. Chimes. Overall, his attacks are very interesting. In fact, he only has one. But it's the fight itself that's so different from every other fight in this game that makes it so perfect. Different. As you can see right now, I can't actually damage Mr. Mr. Chimes, Chimes, but if you look in the background, there's 12 different playing cards that we can carry. So you know what that means, it's time for some good old fashioned geriatric matching games. Flipping over matching. all 12 cards, you can see that there are 6 different pairs for us to create. One Cuphead pair, one Mugman pair, two pairs with an MDHR logo, and, and two, two pairs with some dices. Two Mugman pair, two pairs with different pairs for us to create. One Cuphead pair, one Mugman pair, two, two pairs and with an MDHR logo, logo and, and two pairs, pairs with some dices. After parrying two matching cards, we can now damage Mr. Mr. Chimes. During this stage, Mr. Chimes mm. also gains his one attack. He smashes his symbols together, creating six golden music notes, which then shoot off until they make it off screen. screen. To dodge this attack, we're just going to do the exact same thing we did to dodge the ribcage present in the fear lab fight, fight, which is just get, get as far, far away as possible. possible. Personally, I think Mr. Chimes is the best mini boss in this entire game, but sadly, I can't be happy about this fight because in this challenge, he has 10,000 10, HP and he's also a plain boss. But finally, after matching all 12 bingo, cards and finishing bingo, off Mr. Mr. Chimes, Chimes, I yell bingo and slap some old ladies on my way out, out because I'm now going to fight King Dice. Dice. That's right, King Dice, the mm -hmm. ultimate mm -hmm. final mm -hmm. mini boss mm -hmm. of this entire mm -hmm. fight. Uh, um, he's easy. For this entire fight, he only, only does, does one attack. attack. He, he doesn't, doesn't summon anything, he's just, just that one attack. attack. During this attack, he either leans to the left or to the right, and he sends out an army of 12 no playing cards, cards which walk across and take out the entire floor. Okay. So, if these cards are all across the floor, how are we supposed to mm -hmm. not take, take any damage? damage? As you can see, some of the cards are in the heart suit, and just like previous boss fights, the heart cards, cards are, are obviously parable. parable. These heart cards also give off a parable smoke since we're playing as Miss Chalice, so it's easier for us to parry with a dash parry. So to easily dodge this attack, all we have to do is overuse Miss Chalice's dash parry and double jump, and that's basically double it. Double jump. Another alternative way of dodging this is standing behind King Dice's arm. arm? But the problem is, his arm acts as an invisible wall that I can't shoot through. So this fight would take way longer if I did this strategy. That means that King Dice is probably one of the only mini bosses we didn't cheese, but finally, after taking out all of his 7,500 HP, we're done with this mini boss and completely done with the entirety of this boss fight. You imagine taking damage on a boss fight with 10 XP? And, and on expert mode. On expert mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hour and one. One hour, three minutes, and twenty-seven seconds. That is an 
S rank, ladies and gentlemen. I'm literally just the best in the entire world. Exactly. And there's nothing, nothing you can say about it. There we go. We are finally done with that stupidly long boss, boss fight. fight. It literally it took, took over an hour. hour. But we are on to our next boss, which is obviously the, the devil. devil. If I'm going to be completely honest, this boss fight's not going to be that hard. I literally have a stream where I beat this one boss 100 times in a row on expert mode without dying a single, single time. So I'm not going to be talking a lot about the challenge during this boss fight because you could say that I'm, you know, decent at this fight. Also, from now on, every single boss fight can be viewed in full if you just go to the playlist link down below. I don't know why I don't want to watch, watch that, that, but I mean, you can. can. But none of that is important because you are here to see me beat up a goat that is on a lot of steroids. 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 But none of that is important because you are here to see me beat up a goat that is on a lot of steroids. Just as a disclaimer for the rest of this video, if you're wondering why the footage now looks like you've been punched in the eye socket by Mike Tyson, that's because YouTube streams are really hard to download without them looking like complete total ass. Regardless of that, the first phase of this boss fight is extremely complicated. In just this phase of the boss fight, he has 7,350 HP, as well as having six different attacks, attacks and he spawns minions. minions. His minions are fairly easy to deal with. On expert mode, they spawn with 5 HP, which is only 0.5 more than normal, normal mode, so I don't so know I don't why know they I did that. that. But regardless of how much HP they have, they always get taken out by a sink seen from the towards the just give this part. But much earth is left to this because this attack of players could be Man, smell me some steak. I'm just probably both touch the earlier stick, but okay, I swear if you don't get a fire you. wheel now, 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 exact now. location. Dude, he turned this. I, the director at much like the this ground kid. Sorry, guys, but using an into phase two. Roundabout bullets, Bro, we finally finish off this phase huh? and engage the animation for, for phase, phase two. two. Heading into the second phase, we actually get some new music, music. which sounds like I'm having a seizure at the middle school the talent, talent show. show. <laughs> Regardless of how the music sounds, this phase is <laughs> not fair, sound which like sounds like I'm having a seizure yeah, at the, the middle school, school talent, talent show. show. <laughs> Regardless of how the music sounds, this phase is not very interesting, although it is really long, having the second highest HP out of any phase is 6,300 HP. Hey. There's only two attacks that he can actually do, and there's one Ooh, thing that the, just the Baklava Spot The first of his two me. attacks is his axe attack. He spawns a spiraling axe in the middle of the screen, and all it does is the player. The good thing is this attack can literally be dodged without moving as long as we're standing on the right side of a platform. Mm -hmm. The second thing he does is spawn a parryable bomb, bomb from either his left or right, right ear. ear. To deal with this attack, we can easily just parry the bomb to get rid of it completely, but if we can't make it there in time, we can also go to the complete opposite side of where it spawned and we'll be safe from the explosion. And that basically does it for all the attacks in this phase. There's only one other thing that he does, and that's where he drops flaming poker, poker chips. chips. These poker chips fall down from the top of the screen in a pattern that either moves left to right or right to left. All these poker chips do is fall from the ceiling until they run into the stone platforms and get destroyed, and they literally do this for the rest of the boss fight. There's no way to actually get rid of these poker chips until they self-destruct, so we just have to deal with them by switching between platforms, making sure we don't get hit. After we finish off that phase, we obviously enter phase 3, and with that, we actually lose our fu- After we finish off that phase, we obviously enter phase 3, and with that, we actually lose our far left and far right, right platform, platform, so now we only have 3. three. And also, the devil actually loses all of his attacks, so now he can only summon minions. minions. Obviously, the poker chips are still falling, but now he has the ability to spawn both big and small flying demons. The easiest of these two to deal with is obviously the small demons. demons. Every once in a while, he'll spawn a group of three demons, with each of them having 3.5 HP. Hmm. And for those of you who are wondering, no, this is not a lot of HP. It actually equates to around three spread shot bullets, meaning whenever he spawns them, we can just jump up there and mow through them instantly. Yeah, I win. The large man. demons, on the other hand, nah, have about I'd 14 win. times that. So that's Look at all these tiny cameramans. There's like the an army of tiny cameramans coming from right through the city. The screen, and look how much HP I lost. Skulls at the players. L O L. So the L. Was oh my god, I'm destroying these demons that spawned on the left hand side. 
I wanted to keep the demon on the right alive, alive because occasionally the skulls can be parryable, meaning I can get some extra cards, and also if we kill them, they're just gonna respawn. So for the entirety of this you phase, I would just sit on the left side killing any large demons, and if I saw him spawning small demons, I would come up and kill guys. with a nice shot. This third phase in that. I so win. what you're supposed to I do, win. since the tears are parryable, you're supposed to jump pay off the platform, they. parry, oh and then jump back on to the chip. But as we all know, Miss Chalice is an absolute cheat code, and we can just use her double jump sell instead this, of parrying. So this, this super scary this, final phase is this, just me using this, my roundabout to shoot this, him and jump him. And, and to make all of this even better, Woo for this phase he only has 2,100 HP, which isn't.